In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix pelvic pain for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. If you're dealing with a lot of pelvic muscle pain and need a quick fix, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to break this up into a very easy two-part guide. In the first part, we're going to focus on getting all of the pelvic floor muscles stretched out with great exercises. So we're really going to target the groin, hip flexors, everything around the pelvis. In the second part, we're going to get rid of pelvic pain for good by strengthening everything so you have a better support system so you'll hopefully have a lot less instances of pelvic pain in the future. All of these exercises are easy, effective, and can be done in the comfort of your own home. And as a bonus, they don't require any special equipment. So let's get started and get rid of that pelvic pain for good. In the first part, we're going to focus on getting quick pelvic pain relief with great stretching exercises. Let's just get everything moving in and around the pelvis. This is a five-part process called the wall circuit. I'm just going to go next to a wall or a door. I'm going to place my legs flat up against it while my butt is not quite touching the wall or the door. Experiment with different angles, different spacing, and go with what you feel is more challenging yet more effective. So what I'm going to do with my arms is mimic my leg movements. The first one being the scissor. I'm just going to lift one leg straight, make sure it's straight at the knee, while the arm goes back with it. The more that you come backward with that leg, the more intense the stretch is going to be felt into the leg, into the glutes, buttocks, also into the pelvis. You'll also feel the core muscles start to engage. Hold this for about five seconds. You're just going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat it on the other side. You want to do this for nice, slow, controlled movements. With each repetition, challenge yourself to bring it back even further. Try to do this one five to 10 times on each side. From there, what we're going to do is go into a V. So I'm gonna lift both legs up and then I'm going to open the legs up as much as I can like this. You're going to feel this a lot into the groin. You also might feel that one hip is a little bit more stiff, so one leg will not go down as far. So really challenge yourself to try to bring those back into balance. Hold this one for five to 10 seconds. You're just gonna come back up, relax, and then repeat this one three to five times. With each repetition, try to go a little bit further with it to get everything stretched out even more. For the next one, what I'm going to do is just a circular motion. Lift one leg off and do a nice big circle with the foot. It doesn't matter if you go clockwise or counterclockwise because we're just gonna do a slow movement like this with a big circle for five times and then we're gonna switch directions and then do it again five times and then switch to the other side to keep them both in balance. For the next one, what we're going to do is the butterfly. So what I'm going to do is bring my legs down like this, my toes go together, and they're going to be touching against the wall. Let's focus on trying to take the knees downwards towards the floor as much as we can. Open the legs up as much as you can. You're gonna feel it really into the inner part of the thigh, across the pelvis, into the groin. Focus on doing nice, slow, controlled breathing while doing this. Let the tension out as much as you can. But I like to hold this one for about 20 seconds. From there, you just relax, take a breather, and then do this one up to five times, each time driving the knees out a little bit further to get a better stretch. In the last one, what we're going to do is a simple twist motion. Again, my toes are going to be flat against the wall. And what I'm going to do is just take my knees from side to side in a rocking motion. But I want to keep my hips, my bottom as flat as possible during this exercise. And when I do this, I usually will get a knuckle crack sensation because we're putting a lot of good movement into the lumbar spine. So if you do feel like a pop or a snap, kind of like that knuckle crack sensation, that is completely normal. It's just gases being released from the joint. But once we get to one side, hold this for about two to three seconds. You're going to relax, go towards the other side, and then do up to 10 repetitions on both sides. Again, focusing on trying to drive the knees over just a little bit more with each repetition to get a better stretch across the lower back and pelvis. This pelvic stretching exercise is known as a frog rock back and it can be done in bed or on the floor. And yes, it does look a little bit odd. So let's go start off on all fours just like this. What we want is our hips and our knees in a nice straight line. I'm going to bend at my elbows and support my upper body weight just like this. Let's start off with a chin tuck. That is just taking the chin towards the chest. From there, what I want to do is then take my knees out to create a V with my knees in a straight line pretty much all the way to the groin itself. The more that you take the knees out like this to create that V, the more intense the stretch is going to be felt into the groin, into the front part of the leg. So only go to your comfort level. Try to put your feet together like this also. 
What we're going to do next is a rock back. So I'm just going to simply take my butt towards the heels. The more that you rock back, the more intense this stretch is going to get. So only go to your comfort level. Really challenge yourself with this one and get a very good stretch. Once we hit that point, hold this position for 20 seconds. Do nice, slow, controlled breathing too. You really want to focus on letting the tension out as much as you can. When you need to, uh, to relax, just rock forward, take a breather, and then try to take the knees out just a little bit further on this next repetition and then rock back even further. You want to do this one nice and slowly for about three to five repetitions. Again, challenging yourself each repetition to go out just a little bit further. This next stretching exercise is known as a 3D hip flexor, and just like the name implies, it's going to be focusing on the hip flexors, a commonly overlooked area of pelvic pain. We just need a sturdy chair, one without wheels. Let's go up to our chair, put one foot just like this, knee is going to be bent roughly at 90 degrees. The other leg, let's take it back just a little bit, it's going to be straight at the knee. From there, I take my hands, place it at the hips, have very good upright posture. The first movement is very, very easy. I'm just going to lunge into it with my body weight. The more that I lunge into it, the more intense the stretch is going to feel in the hip flexors of the straight leg. So only go to your comfort level. Once we hit that point, hold this position for about 15 to 20 seconds. You're just going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat this three to five times. With each repetition, go a little bit further with it to try to get a better stretch. If we want to take this one to the next level, what I'm going to do is get back into the stretch, put my arms like this, and then I'm going to rotate towards one side. The more that I rotate, the more it's going to activate those muscles, so challenge yourself. You're really going to feel it just stretch a little bit differently. Hold this one for about 15 to 20 seconds. You're just going to relax, take a breather, and then you're going to do it on the other side. You want to do this for about five repetitions on both sides. If we want to take this one to even the next, next level, let's get back into that stretch just like this. Put our arms out straight, interlock the knuckles. Let's then go overhead just like this. I'm going to then just bend towards one direction. Use my upper body weight to bend towards one side as much as I can. Again, you're going to feel the muscles get activated just a little bit differently. 15 to 20 second hold, and then you're gonna take a breather, and then you're going to repeat it on the other side. You want to do this one and challenge yourself each time to go a little bit further for about three to five repetitions on both sides. One of the best ways to get rid of pelvic pain for good is to strengthen everything in and around the pelvis. This is a three-part wall or door circuit that is going to hit so many muscle groups, the first being the pelvic bridge. I'm going to wear shoes during this because I feel that it gives you a little bit more grip, but you can also do this one barefoot. What I want to do is lay flat on my back, knees bent roughly at 90 degrees. My weight is going to be driven from my heels into the door. What I'm going to do with my arms is just put them off to the side. The first movement, very, very simple. Let's put our weight again from our heels into the door and then just lift the butt up as much as we can. You really want to focus on driving the butt up to the point where it is a nice straight line from the knees to the hips to the shoulders. Once we hit that point, hold this position for about five to 10 seconds. You're just going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat this one up to 10 times. Each time, focus on trying to drive the butt up even further. The second part, how we can make this one even more challenging, take one leg off and just bring it back towards you like this, almost like a march. It's going to activate the muscles a lot more, so again, only to your comfort level. You want to hold this one for five to 10 seconds, just relax, take a breather, and then from there, do it on the other side. You can also hold the bridge and do a very slight marching motion like this too if you feel like it's more challenging, but you just want to do it about 10 repetitions on both sides. For the third part, what we're going to focus on is what is known as the pigeon pose. So let's get back into our bridge position. Let's take one leg off, bend the knee like this, take the ankle on that side and place it over the other leg. And then from there, I'm going to take my knee and then push it towards the wall or the door. When you do this, you're going to feel a great stretch into the pelvis, into the hip, but also into the glute and piriformis. Try to hold this position for about five to 10 seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather, and then do it on the other side. You want to do this for about 10 repetitions on both 
sides. So another great pelvic strengthening exercise is known as the sumo squat. Let's get into a squatting position like this. What I'm going to do is put my weight on my toes. I'm going to drive my elbows into the legs like this, I should say into the inner part of the knee, and try to drive them out as much as I can. This will intensify a stretch into the inner part of the leg, also into the groin across the pelvis. Once we hit a very comfortable stretch, what I want to do from there is just rock from side to side on my feet, just very, very slowly. When you do this, you're going to feel the pelvic muscles really start to fire, only go to your comfort level. You want to do nice, slow movements from side to side for about 10 repetitions on each side. If you do feel like one side is a little bit weaker, throw some more repetitions in there to help strengthen it. From there, what you can do is go forward and backward with your weight, because it'll activate the muscles a little bit differently, and you can also do a circular hula hoop motion. But focus on trying to drive the knees out as much as you can, focus on movements that feel just a little bit more weak, and throw more repetitions in there to help strengthen the pelvis and hopefully get rid of that pelvic pain for good. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.